about NCC tip drill and CVA. These topics are related. Why? There are many CVA come to our world and the main investigation tool for them is NCC tip drill. Okay, so we will discuss these topics together. Now, how a CVA patient will appear to us? He or she may give history of uh, unconsciousness or loss of consciousness. Okay, there may be aphasia. Okay, there may be some limb abnormalities like hemiparesis, hemiplegia, paraparesis, paraplegia. Okay, now see what happens. This is a normal CT scan image. Okay, now it is a magnified view. What are the different parts of this? See, these are the lateral ventricles lateral ventricle okay now what is this there are a limbs lens separate structure lens separate structure i will use different color for better understand any lens separate structure in the both sides what is this this is lentiform nucleus and this has two parts laterally putamen and medially globus pallidus Globus pallidus. Okay. Now see. I am removing. In this area, there is chordic nucleus. Chordic nucleus. This is the lentiform nucleus. I have said chordic nucleus and lentiform nucleus. Between these two, what is present? There is internal capsule. Internal capsule. Okay internal capsule here there is thalamus thalamus okay behind thalamus there is subthalamic nucleus and behind that behind that there is substantia nigra substantia nigra okay substantia nigra okay now this is over now we will move on to the next slide. See, these are the CVA images. I have said it is a uh, ischemic stroke image. Ischemic stroke. In case of ischemic stroke, there will be ap there appear blackies like this, and in case of hemorrhagic stroke, they will appear whitish area. I will discuss it. Okay. There are blackish area. There are blackish area. I have said blackish area means these are hem ischemic stroke. Blackish area. Blackish area. Okay. In case of ischemic stroke and in case of hemorrhagic stroke, there is white area. White area. See? White is. White is. Okay. Now. Okay. See? These are the this is sagittal section of the brain and here is axial section of the brain okay now watch carefully i have drawn in the previous diagram that these are the lateral ventricles okay lateral ventricles and here see there is the lentiform nucleus lentiform okay now this is two parts putamen and globus pallidus okay now between this sorry uh, sorry one thing I, will, I have forgotten these are the lateral ventricles okay now these are the chordic nucleus here chordic nucleus okay now chordic nucleus now see here I am drawing what is this? This is the internal capsule between order nucleus and the lentiform nucleus. Okay. Now behind the lateral ventricles there are thalamus. Behind thalamus, what is present? Subthalamic nuclei and behind that there is substantia nigra. Substantia nigra. Okay. 
Now moving on to the next. Moving on to the next one. See, I have drawn this diagram by myself and highlighted the point what I have discussed earlier that putamen here, globus pallidus here, lateral ventricle here. These are lateral ventricles. These are the this is globus pallidus, this is putamen, this is the cotton nucleus and between cotton nucleus and internal capsule there is the cotton nucleus and lentipum nucleus there is internal capsule. Okay. Now see now see here these are the thalamus thalamus these are the subthalamic nuclei and these are the substantia nigra. Okay. Now next see this is a schematic diagram of the internal capsule. It is very much important. I have said it earlier that some patients may come with aphasia, some may come with bladder dysfunction that you may find that some patients are uh, involuntary, involuntary passing urine in the bed. Okay, there may be uh, some problem that there may be excoriation from this. Some may have hemiparesis, hemiplegia like things. Okay, why these things happen? See, this is the body representation body representation okay and so according to the body representation I have drawn here like this okay see it is anterior it is posterior this is medial this is lateral okay same here medial lateral okay now see in medially there is trigeminal trigeminal ganglia TG means trigeminal ganglia and laterally that is corticonuclear tract. We know trigeminal ganglia is a sensory ganglia and uh, corticonuclear tract is a motor system. So if the damage is in this area, in this area of internal capsule or known as the genu of the internal capsule, there may be genu means bend, bend. Okay. So there may be uh, what happens? There may be abnormality in the face and then maybe in the upper limb. Okay, mainly, mainly uh, consider, we are considering the face. Okay, not the upper limb. Not the upper limb, mainly the face area. Face area is supplied by mainly uh, corticonuclear tract and trigeminal ganglia. Okay, same here. Same, same here in the. I am removing this. Same here in the upper and lower limbs. There is corticospinal tract laterally and medially dorsal column and spinothalamic tract these are dorsal column and spinothalamic tract are the sensory areas and corticospinal tract is the motor area so if there is corticospinal tract damage there may be hemiparesis hemiplegia paraparesis paraplegia and if there is dorsal column of or spinothalamic tract damage there will be sensory loss in the upper and lower limb okay upper and lower limb okay now see Sorry, 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 this is, sorry, okay, now, next, next slide, next slide, this is the anatomy, uh, our blood supply in this area, see, what happens, mainly, mainly the area is supplied by, May. sorry, uh, okay, Okay, uh, one minute please. Yes. Here, this is the lateral view. Lateral view. In there, this, this area is supplied by anterior cerebral artery. Anterior cerebral artery or ACA. ACA or anterior cerebral artery. This area, this area is supplied by middle cerebral artery and this area is supplied by posterior cerebral artery. Okay, now. See here, it is medial view, medial view, and this area is applied mostly. This area is applied by anterior cerebral artery. This area is posterior cerebral artery. This is middle cerebral artery. Why I am saying this? Look, in the first diagram, in the first diagram, I have represented, I have represented something. What is this? This is your face and hands. So, if MCA damage or middle cerebral artery damage, there will be abnormality in face and hands 
face and hand okay so in the next diagram see i have represented the lower limbs and there is bladder also in the lower limb lower area sorry lower area this is supplied by anterior cerebral artery so if there is anterior cerebral artery damage there will be uh, damage of the lower limbs and bladder so the synopsis is written here synopsis i have said if anterior cerebral artery damage there is lower limb paralysis and bladder dysfunction if mca damage there will be hemiparesis arm arm and face damage if posterior cerebral artery hemianopia why you know hemianopia the our visual center is located in the posterior or lobe posterior lobe okay now next slide i have said it earlier that if there is if there is white is area if there is white is area okay i am zooming it i am zooming it see this is the this is the white area you can find <coughs> white area white area white area if there is white area there it is it is hemorrhagic stroke and if there is black is area mostly black black things this is ischemic stroke ischemic stroke there is blood is not going there so there will be ischemia you know that okay now this is a peculiar type of things thing see these are the midline 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 this is midline this is right this is left okay now see here the lateral ventricle is shifted towards right it is a case of it is a case of midline shift it is a very dangerous come very dangerous thing poor prognosis of the patient okay now next severe investigation severe investigation first investigation i have said is mcct brain other investigation you will send also like ecg abg chest x ray or some blood things like sodium potassium urea creatinine tbc okay but brain specific is mcct brain if there is nothing found we will go for ct angio and if there is nothing found depression weighted mri okay ncct brain is diagnostic for hemorrhagic cva but ischemic cva sometimes if the patient uh, is uh, 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 within 12 hours or 6 hours and then you can't find the ischemic stroke here so for ischemic stroke in which of choice is ischemic cva is dw mri or depression weighted mri okay now next it is severe treatment it is a gross treatment okay you will give iv manitol tds okay 100 ml bottle tds you can give uh, more more than this also right tube you will uh, put for the patient if there is poor gcs the gcs video is also in my channel i will share this link in the comment section now see iv glycopyronium no one will say that but uh, i have practically found that it is very much helpful to prevent secretion by the secretion there may be aspiration pneumonia or aspiration syndrome to prevent it you can give iv glycopyronium injection ticolin and paracetam it is widely given in west bengal but i don't know uh, whether it is um, very much beneficial or not okay now if, if there is ischemic cva ischemic cva you will add aspirin and clopidogrel aspirin and clopidogrel in case of hemorrhagic cva these are contraindicated okay now see don't use this in case of hemorrhagic cva okay now uh, the most important thing there is physiotherapy 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 is very much important rehab for the rehabilitation of the patient and postural care to prevent bed sore bed sore is a very much dreaded complication for the patient okay okay uh, i think i have discussed all the aspects of cva and i will go back to the slides okay this is normal slide normal image this is also normal i have said this ischemic stroke this is hemorrhagic stroke okay this is the normal anatomy this is the sagittal section this is the internal capsule this is the blood supply of brain uh, this is the location wise lesion it is the also again i have saying the hemorrhagic cva and ischemic cva difference midline shift cva investigation cva treatment okay now uh, we are ending the session the pdf will be available 
in the telegram telegram channel of mine uh, of mine uh, the link will be given in the comment section thank you for attending the video